like okay you need us to check on all these existing building mm. yes there's a certain fees on it okay then maybe we, we can counter offer back okay if this project awarded to us in the next stage then maybe we can give some certain discounts on yeah you know, that makes sense you know, what of the previous charges things like that yeah so i mean that's yeah. a fair for both party la. makes sense makes sense makes sense so like when you say you guys do more project management, would that also then cover M and E? Yeah, CNS being main of main main. Yeah, because um, stay ahead, right? Yeah, ourselves is um, graduated from CNS space. Yeah, so CNS is our main, but um, somehow along the path of this adventure, you really understand all these like architectures and M and E, the basic design knowledge that. We should know the bylaws that we should know. So we we only able to provide all this info to our clients. Mm. I mean, as a project management, the more you the better it is. Uh, mm. Yeah. So you sometimes my M and E consultant might not be free to join the meeting. Mm. So when I brief clients all this info, like the bomba bylaws, all this, mm. yeah, we need to share to our clients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it comes to in-depth technical design and we, I might need my m to help me out. What are the um, type of projects that you guys mainly handle? So far, and, like, our project you focuses it? on uh, factory and warehouses more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another kind of services that we provide for our main contractors, project management on site. So we help uh, the main, sometimes the main con, they are more, more like... Uh, they don't have their own engineers or what. One man show, they will just uh, get a project, then they just do, right? They don't have a document controller, okay. kind of things like that. Yeah. So it's part of our service also. To support the main con. To support the main con. That. Yes, to help him to handle with the consultants okay. or clients mm -hmm. on the paperwork, the RFI, or the material checklist. We help them to handle all these kind of paperwork. So it's almost like a very contract basis uh, support service that you yes. offer to yes. a developer. It could be a main con, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because some developers also don't have their in-house project management team. Correct. Could you also then step into it? Yes. Yes. And that's what we do also. So we help them to do coordination of works. Um, of course, there are a lot of sub-trades, mm -hmm. sub-con, different trades of work. Mm -hmm. So we will help the main con to coordinate with them. Yeah. Or we get, or let's say they don't have this. For example, they're looking for wet work contractors. Maybe the main con itself is not in main in the wet works. Mm -hmm. So maybe you get a few quotations for them, let him to compare and review, something wow. like that. That's part of the service. Like. Might not need it, but we do have we do encounter this kind of situation before. So would you say also then project to project basis is almost very bespoke, very customized based on the requirement of the project? Yeah. I mean in, I mean currently we are doing one project for our main con. It's mainly as a document controller, I would say. Right. We need to get a full time engineer on site, help the main con to overlook everything on site. Coordination, the paperwork, uh, the documentation uh, with clients and consultants. Yeah, the recent one that we got. Uh. Okay. So the main con is just, I get my subcon, you talk to my guy, my, my project manager. Right. So he will just, yeah, he is the paymaster, that's all. Understand. For this kind of um, services, we will charge based on the retainer service. Yeah, like he paying a salary as a re Makes sense. Project manager and that. Yeah. yeah. So making sure that like, EOT, RFI, everything is well documented so then yeah. they don't have paperwork issue. To Correct. Correct. 